Hello everyone. Today I would be demonstrating cataract surgery, phacoemulsification for beginners so that they can learn each steps of the surgery and learn to perform them in the correct way. This is an unedited video and I would be doing all steps of the surgery slowly to demonstrate each step carefully. After making two side ports, air was injected into the anterior chamber. You should inject full chamber air and after that dye is injected slowly. The air helps to form a dye lake over the capsule which stains it uniformly and protects the corneal endothelium also. After that visco was injected to remove the air bubble and excess of dye. You should put visco on cornea as and when required as this will prevent drying of the cornea. After that, if required, you might need to focus the eye again so that your view is clear and crystal. So initially I make a groove, it's a triplanar incision, then I enter into the cornea about 1.5 millimeters and dimple down and my entry is parallel to the iris plane. You can move in slowly as I demonstrate in this video. Now you can see my incision is kind of squarish and this is an ideal incision which is required for a good phaco. Inject visco to deepen your anterior chamber and remove or lessen any thrust which is there. With both the limbs of your tratas you can see how gently I will rub my anterior capsule and see I am creating that flap. Now take this flap to the periphery to the desired amount of rexis which is required. Then gently turn by bringing the flap towards the center. Now you turn it circular fashion in one quadrant, leave it and then since you have to change the direction, bring it towards the center slowly. Now the second quadrant I am moving and see now I need to change my direction again. So I would be moving slightly towards the center so that my rexis changes the direction and now I am making the last quadrant and now when you hold the flap from the base pull it towards the center. See the rexis is completed now and with hydro cannula I would be going inside tenting of the capsule inject the fluid you can watch the fluid wave tap then again tent and tap again and after you've done a good hydro dissection at the end of the surgery there is very few cortical material left so a good hydro dissection is always an ideal thing engage the nucleus and gently rotate i will demonstrate again engage and dial see how nicely it is rotating that means my hydro dissection was adequate now with the phaco probe i will be going into the interior chamber and I usually do all my cases in continuous irrigation mode as that maintains the interior chamber and it is always easy to do. As always recommended small and deep trench and as you can see my bevel is up and slowly the glow would be visible and I'll be pointing towards the glow that it glow is visible. See I'm almost done with my trench and now you can see I'm pointing with my chopper you can see the glow is visible now this is a superficial area middle and deep I would be burying in middle and deep zones so now watch as I bury my phaco probe into the nucleus and the phaco probe is buried then chopper just in front of the phaco probe you crack see I lost my hold again I went to foot position 3 and came back to 2 the hole was there, I was able to crack, make the first chop, similarly bury again, chopper in the front of the phaco probe and crack and you need to create small 6 to 8 pieces like this. In cases of soft cataract, normally it is very easy to emulsify as you require less power and they are good for beginners because get it 2-3 cataract 
they are good enough to hold and they require very less power to get emulsified now one of the pieces was lifted up since it was a big piece i tried to chop but since it is a soft cataract now you can watch that i will emulsify using the faco probe and the roll of chopper was very limited the energy delivered was very less at this point there was some iris coming from the side port so i injected visco and reposited the iris back in place now after injecting visco again i went inside with the faco probe and dialed my nucleus with the help of chopper itself now this piece is again taken out and with the help of faco probe itself the piece is being emulsified you at times use chopper when you are dealing with the hard cataracts even though you crack into small pieces still they are sometimes hard to emulsify and once you bring them into central safe zone you may require to break those small pieces again into much more smaller pieces with the help of chopper but with higher end machines these days available the chopping and emulsifying is actually very efficient and easy although i have no financial interest now you can see this is the last piece left and you have to deliver power in pulses and i was able to emulsify the nucleus now very well you can see the glow is visible the excess margin is visible and left over cortex is visible so now i go inside with the help of irrigation and aspiration cannula i would be aspirating my cortex and you have to peel it bring it to the center and if your excess is intact as i said in my last video that probably if you are holding the capsule you won't be able to peel it to the center so in case you hold the cortex and if you are able to peel it then you just need to be confident that it is the cortex and not the capsule you have to clear the cortex all through 360 degrees and in case sometimes you require polishing of the posterior capsule as well be gentle and at times when you peel the cortex the they are quite big and they get stuck in the opening of the aspiration cannula you have to manipulate with the tip of irrigation as you can see i am doing it so the aspiration of the cortex becomes easy and similarly all the cortex is removed one by one for sub incisional cortex it is always better to exchange hands for beginners they always resist changing hands because being right handed they feel that their right hand is dominant but once you start training yourself by exchanging hands the feeling actually becomes easy by exchanging hand rather trying to peel the sub incisional cortex from that very side so now you can see i am changing my hands and now the sub incisional cortex was taken off from the other side it is always desired to remove all cortex and you should not leave any bit of cortex behind and even if there is some fibers or there are some amount of cortical matter sometimes attached to the posterior capsule you might have to polish them so again irrigation cannula in place i am implanting the iol under hydro implantation technique which i usually do in all my cases this is ad quite advantageous as it is easy to insert the iol in the bag and there is no need actually to wash visco since it is under saline so these are this is a hydrophobic iol and at times it unfolds slowly and now the case was completed and finally closure of the wound thank you for watching this video